That's perfect. Today we are going to be answering the decades old question whether web blasting or dry blasting is better for rust removal. So we've got this part off of our V6 Mustang that we literally just pulled apart and I'm going to be taking this and using 120 aluminum oxide testing which one is better to actually remove this rust. We'll actually look microscopically at the surface so that way you can see what's left behind and then you guys can actually pick which one you think is better and let us know in the comments. So let's get to it. Now, for this demonstration, I'm only going to blast one side of this part with the 120 aluminum oxide in our dry blast VH2000. Then following that, I'm gonna go over and use our VH2000 wet blast to do the other side. That way you guys can see a comparison. I'll try and leave a little strip in the center. That way you can see what, um, what was left, but this should do a very good representation of removing rust. Let's get to it. All right, now this VH2000 dry blast is a pressure pot setup, which means we're going to be moving a lot of media and it's going to be at very high pressure. So again, we should see some very immediate results. So we've just finished using the 120 aluminum oxide out of the VH2000 dry blast here. Now again, this is a pressure pot setup, so we were moving a lot of abrasive, but it did a phenomenal job of removing all of this rust. So now what we're going to do is actually go and take it and put it in our VH2000 wet blast and show you a quick comparison. And we are back. Now, as you guys can see, the results are actually quite comparable. Now, one thing I do wanna mention on the dry blast side is in some of this after B-roll footage, you can see these water spots, that's from putting it inside of our wet blasting machine. So it's starting to surface rust again. But again, these are quite comparable. Now, a few things that you can tell that are different on this surface, on the wet blasting side, it is much brighter. And I know that doesn't show up well on camera, but the actual finish is brighter, but that makes sense. And that's because as you're blasting, that water's cushioning the abrasive and it's not doing as much damage to the actual surface. So you, you actually end up with a much smoother finish. But as far as it goes to actually remove rust, these are quite comparable. I do think the dry blasting was faster, which makes sense because that abrasive is, is directly impacting the surface. Whereas with wet blasting, you do have water in the mixture. But I, I do think dry blasting was faster, but I think that wet blasting honestly yields a better looking result. Now, again, with wet blasting, you do have to worry about surface rust or corrosion after blasting. We do have corrosion inhibitor that you can put in your machines that prevents all that. Um, it's not as much of a, a worry with dry blasting because you're actually drying that part off as you're blasting it. But Again, these results are very comparable. It honestly comes down to what you're wanting to do. If this would have been an aluminum piece and I was trying to polish it back up, I would personally go with wet blasting for sure. If it's just a cast piece just like this that I'm trying to remove rust off of, I would go with dry blasting. If you guys have any questions about these machines, leave it in the comments below. We love interacting with you guys down there. If you are actually ready to get either of these machines in your shop today, you can call us at 828-202-5563 or check out our website, vaporhauntingtechnologies.com. Again, make sure you guys stay subscribed. We're gonna be posting videos just like this. So if you have any questions, we may actually answer them in a future video. Um, hope you guys found this informative and hope you have a great day. Peace.